Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, The Bride. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film begins with a man, Hal, walking into a house, looking around when he finds a woman, a bride. Hal can only see her back, so he slowly approaches her to see her face. Suddenly, he hears a voice, and people mysteriously appear. Hal witnesses how these people forcefully make a man be the dead bride's groom. Hal gasps in shock as he sees the rotting face of the bride, but fortunately, it is just a dream. Hal calms himself down and hugs his fiance. The following morning, while Hal sits on the park bench after running, he hears some noises behind him. Hal checks it, and there is no one, but he finds a red envelope stuck on a tree. He takes it and looks around, looking for the person who left it, but he is alone. Then suddenly, an old man taps his shoulder and asks for his bottled water. Hal gives it, but he realizes that the red envelope is gone as the old man walks away. Hal checks the ground looking for it, but he cannot find it anywhere. Later after his shower, Hal notices three scratch marks on his chest, confusing him, but he dismisses them. Before leaving, Hal's fiance wraps a scarf around his neck as the weather gets colder. However, she suddenly feels pain in her neck, worrying Hal. The fiance assures him that it is nothing severe. On the other hand, Yin, a high school student, is supposed to celebrate her 16th birthday with her friend. As they plan the celebration, Yin hears her friend's phone ringing, followed by a dog's bark. Yin looks down at her desk and sees a dog looking at her friend. Suddenly, the dog looks at her, and Yin screams, as she sees that half its face is smashed. The dog disappears as quickly as it shows, but the friend receives a phone call from her mother that her dog was hit by a car and died. The friend holds her tears as she excuses herself to Yin. Meanwhile, Hao supervises his team, as they record a clip for their new Supernatural TV show. The topic is ghost marriage, where the dead's girl family will put a lock of the deceased's hair, or anything personal to the girl in a red envelope. The expert explains that the family will put the red envelope on the roadside, and whoever picks it up has to marry the deceased girl. Also, the family will hide aside, and watch to ensure that a guy will pick up the envelope. The camera then focuses on the Taoism priest, who explains why such tradition is still being practiced. Due to the patriarchal values, women who died unmarried will become wandering ghosts. So the only way is to give them the ghost marriage. The family needs to find a guy and get the newly deceased woman married in 49 days, so the soul can be reincarnated. However, those souls with strong resentment will become haunted spirits when they fail to marry. After shooting the scene, Hao thanks the priest for her cooperation. However, the priest strangely asks him if there is anything unusual that has happened to him lately. Although confused, Hao replies that everything is fine. He is blessed in both work life and love life. Before leaving, the priest reminds him to take care of himself. Later that rainy day, In quickly runs to the elevator and presses her floor. However, the elevator malfunctions for a while, giving her more creeps as she is alone. Fortunately, she reaches her floor and prepares to unlock the door when she hears something dripping behind her. She does not look behind, quickly opens the door, and shuts it. As she gets inside, Yin is alone as her mother is still at work. After his work, Hao goes home and calls his fiancé, but he receives no answer, so he calls her, but finds her phone on the floor. Shortly after, the fiancé appears and explains that she was in the shower. Hao dismisses it and shows the fiancé her wedding dress, explaining that he ran into the dressmaker in the basement. Meanwhile, Yin gets waken up by her toy that mysteriously starts by itself and falls on her bed. Yin turns it off and gets out of bed. She steps into blood, followed by the closet door creaking. Yin looks at it through the mirror and sees someone hiding in her clothes. Although scared, Yin checks her closet, and fortunately, there is no one. Her mother then appears and surprises her with a birthday cake. The following day, while Hao takes pictures of their new set, he accidentally discovers a hidden room behind the cabinet. But before he can take a good look, the priest stops him and reminds him not to sneak around. While checking the clips in his office, the editor comes in and gives Hao the wedding tape he edited. Later that night, while they are eating in their apartment, the fiancé suddenly becomes anxious. She questions if Hao is purposely getting busy, so he has no time for her. The fiancé even asks whether Hao is secretly dating anyone. However, Hao reassures her that she has nothing to worry about because everything he does is for their future. Instead of replying, the fiancé gives him tongue massage feedback. After that, the fiancé whispers to Hao that they will stay together forever. On the other hand, Yin weakly tells her mother that she is not feeling very well. As she is not feverish, Yin gets into her room and sleeps. Hours later, she wakes up from her closet door slamming hard. Although scared, Yin checks it. There is no one again. So she immediately returns to the bed and hides underneath the blanket. 
However, she hears the closet door creaking, and when she looks behind, she finds a pair of hands underneath her bed, fixing her slippers. Yin screams in fear as she hides again, causing her mom to rush into her room. She opens the lights, and asks Yin what happened. But Yin lies, and tells her it is just a nightmare. Meanwhile, while Hao watches the wedding tape at his home office, he notices that the woman in the pictures does not look like his fiance. The fiance interrupts Hao, who immediately shuts off the laptop. She wants to see what Hao is watching, but Hao lies and says that it is just a bunch of scary clips for their TV show. She leaves as she is scared of those kinds of things. Later that night, another nightmare visits Hao in his sleep. He is back at the house, but it is abandoned. He takes the oil lamp and roams around, until he finds a person covered with a blanket, lying on the bed. Hao removes the cover, and is terrified to see a corpse bride. Hao backs up from the shock, accidentally knocking over a dusty picture frame. Hao attempts to wipe the dust off, when he hears the corpse bride moving behind his back. Hao gasps as he wakes up, and realizes that it is just a nightmare. He turns around, where he finds his fiancée is Sam asleep. The fear strikes again, as Hao hears the corpse bride moving behind him, before she grabs his face. Hao catches his breath, as he wakes up from another nightmare. The following day, he and Editor go to the Taoism priest for help. With her expertise, Hao discovers the disturbing reason behind the recent strange events in his life. It reveals that the corpse bride haunting him and giving him nightmares, is actually related to him and Hao's past life. She started following him the day he was born, and in his past life, Hao died because of her. The priest instructs them to find information about strange death in 1930, on the northeast side of his birthplace. The two oblige, go to the local library, and read every newspaper in 1930, until they find something. A man that looks exactly like Hao, got killed in a car accident that year. He had a cut on his palm, and severely damaged his head. Later that night, Hao continues to investigate the man. He searches the photograph where he was last seen, and when Hao zooms in, he imagines the corpse bride camouflaged in the bushes. After a tiring day, Hao gets in the shower, strangely unaware of a woman's ghost lying in his bathtub, whose water has turned black. Shortly after, the fiancé joins him, and while they shower together, Hao informs her that he will be away for two days because of work. He reminds her to call him, if anything strange happens while he's away. The following day, while they are stretching for their swim class, a classmate of Yin and her friend tells them a story. According to their seniors, there was a boy who drowned his girlfriend in the pool, and committed suicide after. The authorities never found her body. Their coach interrupts them. So the girls take their positions. Yin follows her friend. But then, their classmate mysteriously starts drowning. The coach and the other girls immediately swim to help her, while Yin discovers something else. She finds a girl ghost holding her classmate's feet, drowning her. Yin immediately swims away, and gets to the tiles, while the others remove the drowned classmate from the water. In the shower room, Yin's friend excuses herself, as she needs to get her conditioner for her curly hair. As Yin finishes her shower, she finds the room empty, as her classmates have gone. A shampoo bottle rolls over the floor, so Yin knocks on the stall. However, she receives no answer, so she opens it, and finds it empty. Yin backs away from fear, but then gets attacked by the girl ghost. Later that night, Yin's classmates find her digging the soil ground, with her bare hands. They try to stop her, but Yin continues to dig as she cries, until she finds bones. Yin screams in agony, as she holds the bones before fainting. The following day, Yin wakes up in the hospital, with no memory of last night. Her mother is also confused to know, so Yin confesses that she has seen scary ghosts lately. Her mother is not shocked to hear this, and informs Yin that the ability to see ghosts actually runs in their family. However, Yin's mother is the only one, who does not have it. Her mother shares that if one dies without a proper burial, one's soul will never be reincarnated. On the other side, Hao goes to the place where his past self died. The gate is open, so Hao walks on the path, leading to the house that he has seen in his dreams. At that same time, while the priest prays for Hao's safety, her candles suddenly blow out. She protects the remaining lit candle with her hand, but then, the corpse bride behind her creates a ringing sound in the ears. The priest covers her ears from the pain when the candle blows out. She tries to relight it, but the ringing is too painful, and the corpse bride suddenly appears in front of her. The priest crawls away when the corpse bride controls her body, and forces her to stick a sharp tool in her ear. The priest can only scream and groan in pain, as the tool plunges into her. Hal roams around the house, finding familiar photographs on the walls. The grandfather's clock suddenly chimes, causing Hal to see a vision. It is his old self walking on the same path, when he finds a red envelope on the ground. He opens it, and finds a lock of hair and two other things. But then two men suddenly appear, and take him. Hao tries to leave the house, as the pictures fall to the ground, but the door is locked. The house then changes to its old self, and Hao is wearing traditional clothes. 
Shortly after, his bride arrives at the house, and the bride's father informs him of her tragic death. She was young and beautiful, but she was infected by a disease that caused her to decay. Because of this, the bride ran into the woods and killed herself. How attempts to free himself, but the two men are stronger than him. The father then adds that she cannot have a proper burial if he would not marry her today. The ceremony begins, they cut their palms and pour their blood into two cups. After that, they pour the wine into the dead bride's mouth. But before they can do the same to him, Hal breaks free and runs into the woods. However, he accidentally slips, causing him to fall on the road where he gets hit by the coming car. Meanwhile, Yun wakes up from a woman's ghost coming out of her closet and crawling underneath her bed. Although scared, Yin takes flash pictures of her bed, all of which have the ghost's face. The spirit suddenly appears in front of her, so Yin rolls over to the corner. She screams in fear as the ghost gets to her bed and crawls toward her. Yin runs away and hides in the living behind the couch. However, the spirit is already behind her, so Yin backs away, screaming as the ghost crawls toward her. Yin covers her eyes when she suddenly hears the ghost crying. So Yin faces her fears and touches the crying ghost. Yin mysteriously becomes calm after that, and she goes to the apartment in front of theirs, which turns out to be Hao in his fiancé's flat. A foul smell welcomes her, but Yin endures it and continues to roam around the obviously abandoned flat. She gets to the bathroom, where she finds the ghost's body lying in the bathtub, filled with black water. Yin runs away from the bathroom and opens the door, revealing Editor standing outside. For some unknown reason, Yin and Editor go to the place where Hao went. Simultaneously, Hao returns to the present to the abandoned house, where he finds the bride's corpse and the dusty picture frame. Hao wipes off the dust, revealing his fiancé's real face. The scene shows that Hao has actually been living with the corpse bride. She deceived and manipulated him, making him believe that she's his fiancé, and only let him see her beautiful face when she was alive. That's why her face was not in the wedding tape, because she was never Hao's fiancé. Hao cries as he finally remembers his happy memories with his real fiancé. Hao attempts to leave the house, but the corpse bride shows up and stops him. She wraps her hands around him, and whispers, We will stay together, causing him to scream in horror. Shortly after, Editor and Yin arrive at the house, where they find Hao lying on the bed beside the bride's corpse. The morning comes, and the two help each other give the bride a proper burial to save Hao. While at the hospital, the fiancé's spirit visits Hao and touches his hand. Hao wakes up from it, but his fiancé has vanished. The film ends with Yin telling the authorities what truly happened. When she touches the fiancé, she lets her see the events before her death. It turns out, Hao and his fiancé were a happy couple before the day Hao touched the red envelope. The fiancé woke up from the dressmaker's emails, updating her about the wedding gown. The fiancé happily gets out of the bedroom to inform Hao, but then she finds him talking to someone invisible. The fiancé dismisses it as the dressmaker calls her and reminds her of their meetup. However, Hao suddenly attacks her and chokes her. The fiancé tries to fight and even scratches Hao's chest. But he remains above her, emotionless. He keeps a stern face as he chokes his fiancé to death. The corpse is in the corner watching them as she manipulates him, attempting to kill his fiancé before becoming his corpse bride. Hao then takes the fiancé's body to the bathtub and leaves her there for God knows how long. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.